Headline is reporting that the long in development Uncharted movie has cast Spider-Man himself, Tom Holland, as young Nathan Drake in the film. The outlet notes the film will be a prequel to the game series, taking its plot from the sequence in Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, where the young thief first encounters his partner, Victor Sullivan, setting up the events of the entire game franchise. Deadline is also reporting that this new version of the film will bring on a new writer to rework the newfound premise, with Sean Levy still attached to direct. John what do you think of the casting and new premise for Uncharted? I don't know how I feel about this. Now, let me preface that. I have become a really big Tom Holland fan lately. Uh, we talked about a lot of stuff he's been doing, and I think this guy's got a great future, and I think he's, he's wonderful. The fans of Uncharted are not looking for a teenage Nathan Drake movie. And uh, this could be totally wrong. I'm just speculating here. that This could be totally wrong, but it feels like they're going... Hey, Tom Spider-Man now, he's really popular. Let's rework our movie all together and put him in because he's popular. And that is not the right philosophy for making a movie. You cast people to fit the story. You don't change your story to fit the cast. And, and like I said, I, this, I could be totally wrong about that. Maybe they had a great new idea for a Uncharted movie with a teenage you know, Drake and they want to move into that. And so that prompted them to go out and get Tom Holland. If that's what happened, more power to them. It's still probably, I still think it's a mistake though. There are people who've been waiting for this Uncharted movie for a long time, and this is not the Nathan Drake they've been picturing. So it seems odd to me right now, but the kid's amazingly talented. Um, you know, let's see where they're going with it. I, I just, I'm meeting this news with a little bit of, I'm a little bit skeptical about this. <laughs> Jeremy, you heard about that. You're one of the guys who've been yeah. waiting for an Uncharted movie yeah. for a long time. What do you think about this? Well, in a world where I've now professed I will not get excited for any comic book, or not comic book, but video game movies ever in the history of ever since Assassin's Creed, uh, I think Tom Holland, like you said, he's great. I think he would be a an awesome young Nathan Drake in a part in the movie. That's in a it. flashback. Yeah, in a flashback, because his youth is, is a very colorful time in his life where it set up a lot that will become Nathan Drake if you if you played Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 4 that totally uh, delve into all of that and I think he would be great as young Nathan Drake in a part of the movie but you're right it's like no one like if we found out the young Han Solo movie was going to be Han Solo when he was you know a teenager and that was you know I mean I'm already apprehensive about the Han Solo movie in general because I just I, I want mystery with Han Solo but it's like that times none of the stuff you know what I mean it's like <laughs> all that it's like there's none. nothing he, he wasn't Nathan Drake yet. You're right. Fans want to see Nathan Drake go on the adventures. They're doing something interesting where it sounds like the movie actually ties in with the game rather than be its own the reimagining. The from the third right. game, right? Yeah, yeah. The third and the fourth game. And so the fact that the movie can be work in tandem with the game is a different take. I haven't, I don't think I've seen a video game movie actually do that. That said, I don't think it's a smart move. I think, yeah, you keep Tom Holland as young Nathan Drake for a part in the movie, and then you cast an older Nathan Drake and you have yourself a pretty solid Uncharted film, but don't make it the whole movie. You do raise a very interesting point because our my outlook completely changed on this. If we find out, no, 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 he's just going to play young Nathan Drake in certain scenes. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. If we find that out, that's awesome. But the way the story reads yeah. now, it sounds like the whole movie's based on him. But who knows? Maybe it'll go the other way. Schnepp, you heard about this for the first time just like a half hour ago. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? I think it's a great idea. I mean, I think for everyone who is excited about seeing a Nathan Drake film, while we don't have an Indiana Jones film, and the ones that we do have have a really old Indiana Jones so that I would prefer they not make anymore. I would prefer that to see a new Indiana Jones, but if they're not gonna do that, Nathan Drake at least picks up that kind of serialized action adventure character. Um, that they're going with Tom Holland, who's a great actor, he's really fun, he's young, it d totally changes the entire storyline, but if they are gonna tie it into the video game and make the movies like prequels, you have a, a young enough person who can grow into becoming Nathan Drake, and we could maybe have like 10 amazing Uncharted films. So I kind of look at it as a, a, a fun, fresh way to restart something that they haven't even started yet. Mark? This is gonna gut Collider's engineering capabilities, John, because now <laughs> Cody Hall is gonna be out for Spider-Man movies <laughs> and for Uncharted films. I don't know how we're gonna survive. Look, I, th this news doesn't hit me as hard as it hits the video game players on the table, but I was looking forward to Uncharted, and I had in my mind somebody who was more like an Indiana Jones age from Raiders of the Lost Ark or Temple of Doom. So when I see that Tom Holland is cast as Nathan Drake, you start thinking, oh, that's probably because they wanna make 20 of these movies. They just right. wanna keep cranking them out, which is smart 
smart business sense to cast somebody younger in the role as long as that doesn't alienate the fan base. And I'm not sure what this is going to do, because if they cast any other kid that was Tom Holland's age in this, people would be lighting up message boards with hey right now, because there's so much goodwill for Tom Holland, because he was so good as Spider-Man in Civil War, and the new movie looks great. I think that that's being tempered a little bit. It remains to be seen if he can grow facial hair. It remains to be seen <laughs> if he is going to be good as Nathan Drake. But Sony's so enamored with this kid, they think he can do anything. The, what I'll say about setting up a franchise with a younger star so you can have more movies to make, Harrison Ford looked like Indiana Jones in 1981, and he could have still played Indiana Jones. He's going to be playing him 40 years later. Let me bring so up. you can still have a you can cast somebody yeah. who's 35 and still be making movies for a long time with that person. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the opening five minutes, River Phoenix played a young Indiana Jones. And it's a great sequence. It's an amazing sequence. And honestly, if they could have done another young Indiana Jones movie, if you know the you know unfortunately River Phoenix passed away, but you know if they used him and did that as an entire film, I would have been completely 100 percent into it. So mm -hmm. I kind of look at it like this is a chance to do that. Now, I'm actually really curious about what you guys think about this news of Tom Harland, uh, Holland, uh, given the age of the character, is this news that you're excited about or were you wanting to see an older Nathan? I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So right now, Mark is putting up a Twitter, uh, a Twitter poll. So just go to our Twitter. It's at Collider Video, all right? at Collider Video on Twitter, and you're going to find a poll there that Mark's putting up. It might take about 30 seconds for it to it's go up. It's going to take me a lot longer, John. I'm, I'm, I'm working on <laughs> so, the mainframe. The other Mark. Sorry, Mark oh, Riley is putting God. this up. Oh, uh, and it's a simple yes or no. Do you like the casting of Tom Holland? Yes or no? I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say, and uh, uh, we'll check in on that poll at the end of the show.